Uh, my name is Dr. Vincent Cho. Uh, I would like to let you know more about this program. Uh, today we have quite a lot of things to discuss. Um, here is the agenda, and you can see I'm going to tell you about the aims of this program and some other things so you will know more about later. Okay. Um, basically, this program is uh, tailor make for those managers. Uh, they like to uh, change their uh, jobs uh, to be more related to analytics. Um, let's say uh, if you are in the marketing or if you are in the uh, HR uh, and some other role, uh, you may like to uh, uh, do something more related to analytics. Uh, because nowadays, a lot of organizations, they may have a lot of data. They need to have people, uh, they understand the role of uh, a company, uh, and somehow they need to do the analytics for their company. Uh, so uh, this is a conversion program, and somehow it helped to, um, uh, help to train those managers. Uh, to to change their roles, uh, to make use of the data, uh, enable the organization to um, to understand uh, how to make a better decision based on the data. So you can see over here, uh, the program actually uh, start with some fundamental analytical techniques and uh, try to analyze those data to support the decision making of an organization. And basically, it can be on various domains, can be on the marketing, can be on the logistic, and some other domains. So here is the objectives of this program. Uh, we try to um, uh, let students know about the problems uh, and then try to solve the problem using the analytical skills and based on their uh, understanding on the finding uh, from the an analysis. So they may have some finding based on their analysis and those findings can help to improve the existing process or can help to uh, introduce some new service to an organization. So it can help to create the value of an organization. And this is the uh, special features of this program. This program make use of the theories as well as some practical case to illustrate how to make use the data, analyzing the data, and eventually help an organization. So the student can apply uh, uh, those analytical skills uh, to solve the problem and help the company to introduce something they like uh, the, the, to help the company. And it's a credit-based program. So the student can uh, study at their own place. Uh, so in case the student is so busy, uh, they can um, um, uh, just enroll one course in each semester uh, so they can study at their own place. So they are full-time and part-time mode. For full-time mode, uh, students need to take at least nine credits uh, each semester. For part-time, uh, it could be less than nine credits. So this is a kind of uh, requirement from the immigration. In USO, we expect for those full-time, they need to have one and a half year for their study duration and two and a half year uh, for those they study in the part-time. This could be the normal, um, normal duration. The class could be uh, in the evening of every weekday or uh, on the Saturday afternoon. So this is the program structure. So there are four compulsory subjects with six electives and one 
uh, this is ethics. Okay, this is uh, this related to ethics. Ethics become more and more important. So this is a compulsory compulsory subject related to ethics. And and um, there are two essential mode in studying this program. Uh, the other one is the dissertation. For those students, they like to take the dissertation. They can study two electives. Uh, and, and then the research method and the dissertation may actually equivalent to three courses. For those who cannot graduate with this um, because of some personal reason or because of uh, some uh, some of their schedule being overlap uh, with their work and they they can graduate with, with a postgraduate diploma. For those, uh, they finish eight subjects or eight courses, they can have a postgraduate diploma instead of the, instead of a master degree. So this is the program structure. So this program structure, as I mentioned to you, consists of four core and the compulsory ethics, okay? Academic integrity and ethics. So this is a one credit course. And these are the electives. And you can see in the electives, uh, we have quite a number of choices. Uh, we have the business forecasting, um, the uh, blockchain, tax control analysis, so it's all up to the interests um, and, and, and try to make use of this elective to develop your career. And for the dissertation, uh, you can choose any two electives over here. And then you need to take the research method as a prerequisite and, uh, and, and uh, the dissertation, which equivalents to three courses at the end. Usually students, uh, they take the dissertation. Uh, they need to solve a very complicated problem. Eventually they can be uh, um, getting a better job later because uh, uh, nowadays a lot of company, they like those people, uh, they can handle very complicated problem. And there are many examples uh, which indicate student taking the dissertation has a better prospect. So this could be the study mode, okay? So for year one, uh, part-time, uh, uh, for part-time student, we expect um, each semester, they will take around two electives, okay? And uh, in the first semester of year one, in addition, they may also need to take their ethics, the academic integrity and ethics. And then another two electives or two compulsory in the second semester of year one. And in the second year, they can take two electives and another two electives in the second semester. And finally, they can take two electives in the first year, second, uh, the first semester. But they can always graduate a little bit earlier if they choose to enroll some courses in the summer. So this could be the uh, arrangement which can help them to progress in a faster way. Um, there are choices of courses in the summer. For those full-time students, uh, they can enroll uh, four courses, okay, four courses or at least three courses uh, in the first semester and then four courses in the second semester and then three electives in the first semester of the second year. So at the end, they can graduate one and a half year. But if those part-time students, they work harder, they can uh, have more courses in the first semester uh, and, and a little bit more courses in the second semester. And then they can also enroll one or two courses in the summer term. In that regard, they can finish within a year. 
Besides the curriculum, our program has three essential characteristics. The first one is a balance between practical and theory. Hopefully, our program can provide a better uh, practical experience uh, for those graduate. They can easily get a job. Um, and the second one is uh, our program try to help students to develop their career. We have a lot of professional coach uh, and a lot of seminar related to career development and various networking events. And the last one is the community. Uh, our program has been uh, uh, in the market for five years. We have a number of alumni. Uh, we also uh, each year we uh, we and uh, we 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 accept around one hundred students. So we have a lot of uh, students in 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 the same year. And lastly, is uh, our program also has people uh, supporting uh, those alumni and existing students. There are a lot of uh, coaches, mentors, or uh, industry uh, senior senior people uh, they try to support our student so these are the photos so you can see over here uh, there are a lot of activities okay so the company visit the skill set uh, workshop the professional networking um, so you can see there are so many gatherings uh, so many happy moments and so many uh, outdoor activities, visiting various organizations. So I think uh, for those students in this program, they will enjoy um, various activity in our program. So for those, uh, they already get a master degree. Uh, they can transfer their credit. Um, if the courses are very similar, they can uh, transfer uh, those those courses very similar uh, and, and try to uh, uh, reduce their number of courses in, in this program, okay? And there's a condition. Um, you need to have uh, the, the master program uh, should be within eight years. So this is the entry requirement. We expect uh, those applicants should have at least a bachelor degree, uh, should be uh, at least or prefer to have at least one year working experience. So um, the for those without an undergraduate degree, uh, we expect them to have at least six years working experience or uh, at least 27. Um, and usually we only accept a very small number of non-graduate applicants. For those, if you are not studying in Hong Kong or any foreign country, where the instruction uh, is not using English, you need to have TOEFL or you need to have IELTS. Um, there is a standard uh, for the TOEFL, at least 80, and the standard for the IELTS is 6.0. This year, the tuition is uh, 36. Uh, so it's uh, 361,000 and uh, it's both for local and non-local. And there's a continuing education fund uh, where the government try to support the local student. Um, and for those local students, uh, you can apply for that. And the application deadline is 30 April. So uh, for those students apply earlier, could be better uh, for the shortlisting. Um, so we expect uh, 
uh, we have several rounds, several rounds of interview. Uh, if you apply earlier, you can be shortlist uh, earlier, and uh, you will you will uh, you will have a little bit higher chance to get get in. Okay, and the academic years for the next cohort start on September. Okay, next year. So here you can see some sharing uh, from our graduate. Uh, from this sharing, you can see our program actually help them to enhance their um, enhance their skill and pe get prepared for their career development. Uh, so, so in in this sharing, you can see. Um, uh, most organizations rely on analysts to examine, collect the data, and discover patterns and trends. They use statistical tools and machine learning to extract variable insights that enhance performance, foster growth, and maintain a leading industry position. So in order to overcome the Rapid technological advancement is nice to have the data analytical skill. And this actually can make a person to, to, to think critical way, to think in a critical way, and to plan in a strategic way based on the, based on the uh, uh, finding from the data. So she, she is so lucky, so, so somehow, uh, in this program, she learned quite a lot uh, regarding those technical uh, analytical skills, uh, machine learning, uh, and, and some other techniques. Okay, and uh, actually, this gives her some hands-on experience um, to analyze the data. So here you can see a new network textual analysis and helping the leaders in making decisions. So eventually, uh, I think she got promoted in her organization. So this is another sharing, okay? So um, this girl uh, work in the analytics. Um, so she is a business analyst. So, and, and somehow uh, I think, uh, uh, nowadays, the business analysts uh, need to take care of their data and try to understand the meaning and, and eventually uh, analyze the data and get some finding from it, okay? So this program actually help, help her to imp improve her skill, okay? Um, And this other inquiry, okay, and you can you can always uh, make a call or email to those important people in this list. And lastly, uh, if you have any question, please feel free to ask. 